captured Captain Keyes and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit him, Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. Hi, this is Nemesis, and welcome to the Let's Play of Halo. I Today, I'm doing to take out the gunners while I call for marine support. Truth and Reconciliation. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. And talking the over Master Katana. Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. This is let us keep the, element of the sniper mission of Halo. And you get to, it's good because yeah, now you get to see me kind of every once in a while suck with the sniper rifle, which is not all that surprising actually. I kind of seem to oscillate between either being absolutely amazing, like untouchable with it, or the being absolutely terrible. Run for that stationary gun. Take him out. Let him have it. And yeah, this is the sniper mission because normally you can only hold 28 rounds of the sniper rifle, including the four in your clip in your gun. This mission starts you off with 68, so yeah, they expect you to do a lot of sniping in this. I always kind of like this mission, because I think partially because of the night mission, you know. I just think it's kind of cool to have a just a different time of day. It just kind of shows you that hey, time's passing. It's not all like doesn't seem to all take place at like noon, no matter what. I mean, quite a few games have played where it seems to do that. Oh, <laughs> there's a grunt just went off the edge. That's what I mean by that went by that in that last video about the stun effect of plasma rifle. It, it, it kind of pushed them back and you pushed right off the edge. One thing that's always annoying me is if you get shot while scoped in, it drops out of scope. Although I know why they do it, it still sometimes annoys me. Of course, I also use it to my advantage when playing online or something because. I know that if I get them out of scope, they might not be able to have get a good beat on me again. I'm pretty sure that's a good view. I think that's the planet threshold we see in the background. And right above us, of course, you can see the alien ship, the Dreams of Reconciliation, the namesake for the level. Which is where we're trying to go to get the captain. On there, there's me trying to fail to get up on the rock the first time. Got him. Of course, you got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of marines that, of course. Probably, I recall most of them don't make it to the end of the mission. Yeah, they don't. I'm sure, yeah, that these guys don't make it to the end of the mission. Not through any fault of mine, of course. Oh, here's me. I'm trying to. I'm wandering around trying to find a new plasma rifle because I'm low on ammo for this one, or battery charge, I guess. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. What was I doing? At the, oh, I remember. Oh, I remember what was going on. I think like the phone rang or something. I was deciding whether not to answer it. Up ahead. The path up on the left let us sneak up around. Yeah, I looked at it real quick and oh, just to like a 800 number. So yeah, not worth, not worth interrupting the recording. One thing I like about the original Halo 1 Sniper was it had the night vision if you press the flashlight button all scoped in. Also, I just also like the way the scope looks with the 
I'm not sure what all that is, but on the scope itself, you see this stuff, all this cool stuff. Charlie. The chief has the left flank covered. I'm surprised. Usually when I go through here, there's a turret right about where I'm standing, and, and this time there wasn't, so I was kind of a little, I was surprised as about that, oh, yeah, the, the body acted weird when I died right there. You sometimes see weird stuff like that. And those turrets right, I've been Copy shooting grunts out of are called shade turrets. I don't, yeah, I don't use them this level, but I do use them later. So you'll see them, me using them. And <laughs> oh yeah, and every single time I hear a grenade throw a grenade or, or a marine throw a grenade, I kind of get a little worried because. There have been times that there's a no grenade right where I am. Because as good as the AI enemy has always been for Halo games, the, al the friendly AI is not um, exactly the best. Pick up some active camouflage. First time we see this in the game, I think. Yeah. Active camouflage is basically invisibility. Enemies can't see you. Although, if you, if you look good enough, you can see enemies when they're in active camouflage. And here I'm trying to assassinate them, but they're walking around so much that it's hard. As you can notice, they're not even seeing me at all. at this point that starts to flare off. So I kind of have to just start shooting. Oh yeah, that's a fun little bit. I'm shooting right at the gun, or the grunt in the gun, but because of the way the rock set up or something, that uh, doesn't count. Damn it! No, there's the grab lift we need to get used to get into the ship. Notice the Covenant really likes purple. I'm not exactly sure why that was chosen, but... Yeah, almost everything Covenant has a purple tint to it. You have to hold out and fight it off a few more waves of Covenant before you can move on. Yeah, do that a little too far. That one though worked out pretty good. Shot a marine. You know, there's always been those people who hate Halo. You know, it's that just because it's not a PC title or something. I've I've seen people there. People, you know, bash Halo simply because it was a, it's a console game. It's a console FPS. A lot of people blame Halo for ruining first-person shooters or something. I'm just I just don't don't agree with that at all. I mean, my first exposure to Halo was on PC, so. So it's for me. It's not like it wasn't because it was a console shooter. It's because I thought it was a good shooter. At my first exposure was on PC. So, oh, here's the new enemy type in this game: hunters. 
Now I could try to pass this off and say I'm just showing that oh you can't just shoot them because eh, they're pretty tough but no I just sucked with the sniper rifle for a second. You have to shoot them in the orange bits either on the neck or on the back. These are supposed to be really tough enemies but once you know the trick they're really easy. And later on as I'll, I'll show later there you can actually kill them with a single shot from the pistol. Yes, sir. There is no Cortana need to use a powerful weapon or, or, or a, a power weapon, I guess. That, Don't need to use a sniper. Tight, I just know for a long time, just because of this bit, I thought you had to use a sniper or a rocket launcher. Didn't realize the pistol worked as fine. Just because it just never occurred to me for the longest time the pistol was the most powerful gun in the game. Or not the most powerful gun, but one of the most versatile power guns in the game. Anyway, I know a lot of people try to blame Halo for ruining the first-person shoot shooters, and it's a dude bro shooter, and I hate those kind of people. It's... I am not very dude bro at all. I guess the dude bro, if you don't know what dude bro is, it's just this term that people have come up for with um, people who tend to play things like Halo, Call of Duty, and that's barely any other game. They may buy one game a year, and they only buy them because they're so sweet or whatever they say. These are the kind of people where the pop collars were the douchebags to you in high school if you were a nerd. Oh, here's me trying to get this. This is an invisible elite with a sword, which kind of defeats the purchase. Yeah, I remember seeing that sword. I thought you, I thought if I was fast enough, I could pick up the sword before it went away. But no, it turns out you couldn't pick up the sword, not until Halo 2, at least. Which I was kind of disappointed about, because I always wanted to use that sword. And then when I found out they were making it usable in Halo 2, I was so happy. I think everyone was until, I guess, we found out, oh, now people kind of, well, you know, of course, new weapon, because it's not precision. Anyway, I yeah, seen pe seen people who just do not like Halo because of the stupidest reason. That's okay. I get it's okay. I get it. If you just don't like it, just because you just don't like it, it's okay. If it's not your cup of tea, yeah, it's totally okay not to like it. But if you don't like it simply because it's too dude bro or something, that's stupid. I don't. And I really don't understand the people who say rude first person shooters. Yes, before this, first person shooters had this tendency to have like this weapons have like nine or ten weapons or so and then as you went through the game you get the more and more powerful weapons and then you can hold all of them once this game changed that up because not only did you start with one of the best weapons in the game you can only hold two at a time and because of that you had to think about okay what weapons do you want to hold and oh and here I am waiting for the door to open and it turns out I'm looking at the wrong door. <laughs> Oops. You have to think about which weapons you're gonna hold. You know, which weapons you want. Uh, like, which, you know, most of the time you're trying to hold on to a precision weapon of some sort, or so usually the pistol, sometimes the sniper if you have it. And the other weapon is just sort of depending on what around. you're doing. Chief, let's see if we can find a way to open this door. Right now, I find the best weapon for me to use is the plasma rifle. It drops, it seems to be dropping the Covenant pretty good. Well, and with the stun effect, it's a pretty nice weapon. And here I am, I guess, yeah, I'm more scrounging for another plasma rifle. A little later on, I'm definitely not adverse to like swapping out a plasma rifle for like a rocket launcher or something. I just love being able to go through these the parts without anyone seeing me. The controls to open it must be somewhere in this room. Yeah, I screwed that one up. Last time I did it, um, it worked. Last time I did something like that, it worked. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did not work that time. Oh, 
And one thing I've also liked about Hello is it's pretty dynamic. I mean, almost every single time I play it, I mean, I usually have a general set on, like, way I'm going to go to the level. But each every time I play, the encounter plays out a little bit differently. And other games I've played, it's like, it's always exactly the same. It's, you know, it's like the encounters are pretty much exactly the same every single time you play, no matter what you do. things I'm like jumping on and whatnot those are wraiths they're the covenant tanks and fortunately you can't get in them the, the tanks the, the way their tanks work they're like like mobile well they're like mortars that they la have to launch up the arc in the air and we should get moving all right everybody stay cool yell if you see anything yell if you see anything I see lots of things. Am I supposed to yield on them? Yeah, so you'll see, like, I have, like, preset, like, patterns for how I deal with stuff in certain thing, way, like, set up. But then after that, it's like, I just kind of have to deal with the encounter as I go. Another thing I don't... I don't get is like a lot of people try to claim that the Halo 1 AI is the best AI of all the Halos and like that's not true at all. That it's just Let me get that for you. I think a lot of it is just people just having just re have such fond memories of this game, you know, and I don't blame them. It's a, it was a great game and still is a great game. It's just I think a lot of it is just it, it's just tinted by just nostalgia. It's and whatnot like uh, like uh, art fan said in the first video he's like i do not remember the game looking this bad he you know the memories kind of filled in the blanks for him he just remember it looking better than it was so a lot of people i'm thinking just kind of remember the ai's being better than it turned out to be or turned out to actually you know it actually is so you know you know it's cool that like the elites will dodge and weave and they'll duck all the way with grenades but you know, people, you know, say that's why the AI is so great, but later a Halo AI, they do the same sort of thing, and, th and this, though, that's kind of funny, though. Sometimes they'll dodge, you know, they'll dive all the way from A, but they'll dive right off a cliff. I saw that, actually, during my playthrough, and I wanted to have it on here, but unfortunately, the video got prepped, I had to do it. Yeah, such as trials, those are one of the trials, uh, tribulations I had just trying to get this thing recorded. Like, this is, a. Uh, Second time I recorded this level? Yeah. Oh, and there's me failing with the sniper rifle again. Yeah, ask my friends. I'm a mediocre sniper, best. I mean, sometimes I'm on fire. I've gotten, like, you know, I've gone, like, games with entire grab the sniper rifle and then just don't die. And then other times I, like, am missing every single shot. Or sometimes there's, you know, of course, those games where I don't even get a chance to try it because the second I pick it up, someone betrays me because it's their sniper and, you know, they're too immature to just kind of just accept that someone else grabbed it before they did. Uh, of course, that's happened before me and my friends have set up an elaborate way to get him to betray one of us again so that, well, he gets booted. Then be doing stuff like standing in front of him. And it turns out they're not adverse to, you know, firing again. It get through you, so... Oh, what do you know? I got a betrayal prompt. Yeah, it's probably kind of a dick move, but, you know, I, I only start doing that kind of stuff if it's they kind of deserve it. Talking about again. Oh right, I probably should actually be talking about gameplay. Hello. Oh, uh, that, that grunt pops his head up just to get it blown off. Oh, there's an overshield right there, but I don't. I pick it up. I will save it for later because I don't think I need it yet. Hey, which way should we go now? All the doors on this level are locked. Wait a moment. I'm going to access the Covenant Battle Net and locate an override code. 
to open a door. You better hurry, Cortana. We can't hold them off all day. Working on it. <laughs> Cortana mumbling right there. That's <laughs> funny. This is kind of funny that I don't think a lot of people kind of expect an AI to have a personality like that. And I like how they just kind of uh, just kind of established pretty early on that she's just not like a yes or no sir type thing. Oh yeah, and all the Marines are dead already. It seems to happen to I me mean, no matter what I do. This the Marines die in this room. And more hunters. Again, they're not that tough. Of course. Again, yeah, once once you figure out the weakness, they are not very hard to deal with. Although sometimes that happens. And that's that. Pretty soon Cortana should be unlocking a door, we should be able to get out of here. And stuff like this is uh, it's obvious, like, oh this is a uh, this is the part where we want you to have to hold you know, have to stay in one spot and defend yourself. Got it. Which is probably part of the um, inspiration for Firefight later on. <laughs> Everyone. That it won't lock again when it closes. Everyone's dead, Cortana. Except for me. Yeah, and thing is, we're gonna come up on my first death in the entire Let's Play pretty soon. Actually, first few deaths of our call, but here's the thing. Rather than, you know, force you to watch me do the same part like three or four times in a row, I'm gonna edit them out. Unfortunately, sometimes it means you lose, like, bits of dialogue because of the way the game saves, so... We lost some of it, but I try to make it so it was at least in sound like we lost too much dialogue. Later on, at the end of this, I said this... Oh, wait, no, I haven't said it yet. I have to pretend, uh, yeah, I have to, I, okay, I'm gonna have to pretend anymore. I, yeah, I'm recording some of these out of order just because of the scheduling stuff, but... Later on, I'll try to make some sort of death reel or something if I feel have time. It probably won't be until, like, the very end of all the Halos. I'm done, well, I'm done with all of them just because of time issues. I'm just probably just gonna put all the deaths together into one video and cut it up. Just to show you how many times, you know, like, then try to subdivide it. How many times I died during the Although it's probably not gonna be accurate, just because there are some times I died where like one video didn't record properly, or they didn't make it into the. I had to redo the video because of some technical issue, like this one. I don't know what it was. Echo 419. The shuttle bay door is open. You can start your approach. Roger. Echo 419 inbound. But um, the reason I had to redo this one because for some reason it cut off the last 30 seconds of the video. I don't know why. It was just this weird thing, so I had to redo the whole thing because it's like, well, I have to play to the end of the anyway, so I might as well just re record the whole thing. Just, yeah, it's just I had a few technical issues. Um, first, I had audio syncing issues, and that turned out I figured out what that was eventually, so I can I won't have to worry about that again. Then I had issues with the cutting off the end of the video, and then later the video just didn't record at all for reasons I can't figure out. Oh, I this music too. Um, I think that's Brothers in Arms, yeah. I like this music. I just love what Marty O'Donnell did the soundtrack for this. Yeah, another thing I am kind of looking for. I'm looking for an anniversary. One of the big reasons I just want to hear um, the remaster, not remastered, but the rescored version of the Halo soundtrack. Yeah, I stopped right there because uh, you hear that one. That, I was I was hoping I'd hear that line at some point during this, and I was not disappointed. Because basically, Marine hits on you. Sergeant Johnson again. I think he, I think we've already seen him die once in this video. So now suddenly he's back again. That's what I'm talking about. One down, to go. Whoa! Sergeant Johnson doesn't seem to stay dead. Oh. 
Not yet, anyway. I always found the Covenant architecture kind of interesting. This is curved purple walls. Yeah. <laughs> I, for a second, I saw it stuck. Oh, yeah, that was a telescope. Um, very accidental telescope. That was a fail. Sword wielding gold elites, those are the most powerful elites in handle one of the gold ones. They have a lot of shields, so they take a lot to take down. Yeah, that sword will kill you in one hit. Not what you can do about it either. Looks like the ship's command center. The captain's transponder signal is strong. We must be close. A good spot, Chief. We can land the store here while you go after the captain. Okay. I'm gonna stay there and hold the fort, I guess. I like the beginning bit and then it kind of drags a bit here because yeah you're just kind of wandering down very samey looking corridors and that was one of the chief complaints people had with Halo and was that well after a while it just it kind of started bridge. feeling repetitive and those cells. were valid there are probably multiple concerns. detention stations the captain must be in one of them we need to keep looking for him yeah, the concern that, yeah, it does get a little repetitive, especially later on, but overall the ride is worth it, and the later ones, later Halos do address that repetitive issue. Oh, and you can walk right through that control panel like a boss. Right now I'm invisible, although, yeah, it's weird. I'm still making footsteps, obviously, and yet they don't hear them. It's sometimes funny an enemy will make a noise as they die, so, but I see I was a headshot on a gold elite and he's still alive, so yeah, they're tough. Takes two headshots to take him down. And I know there's another invisible elite, and I'm looking for him right now. I know he's in here somewhere, so And then oh crap, yeah, I just turned visible. And I just took him out. <laughs> yeah, that Marines, and they're in here. Hey, let's, let's press the cutscene button. I mean, release the captain. Uh, coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. By the way, there's yes, going to be a lot of plot exposition right here. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. That's the Accessing the, the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. Yeah, that's true. The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Oh, yeah. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. 
If Halo is a weapon, and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Shut up and get behind me. Chief, sir. you have the point. Oh man, I I just had a flashback. I just remember I played when I played Call Up and the Brother after I got the Xbox version of this. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for Eva. Um, that's the reason I got it was so I could play Call Up. Oh. Yeah, two invisible leads, but um, we got we, we were playing Co Op and what he do was he like constantly stick the captain with a grenade, and if the captain dies, game over. You know, it, it, he dies and it treats it like you died, so you have to go back to the last checkpoint. So he kept sticking him over and over again. And eventually, I was started sticking my brother so that he, you know, so he could do anything. Because, you know, in call up, one of you guys, no big deal. Unless it's. Well, wait, not in this game. That wasn't until later, but. Yeah, so, you know, because someone died, one person dies in call up. As long as the other one's still alive, the game keeps going. The nice thing was, and then at least on the way back, it was kind of easy to figure out where you're, how, which way to go back. You know, follow the dead bodies, but still, it kind of broke one of those rules where it's like make you backtrack. That after you rescue captain, you have to backtrack. Uh oh, another invisible leap with a sword. Yeah, you, it's kind of sometimes you have to guess. Like this one. Yeah, it turns out he was facing the other way. Oops. We made it. Cortana to Echo Four Nineteen. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Oh, the Marines are dead. Negative, Cortana. I've been engaged Here's by weird. Covenant Air Patrols, and I'm having yeah. a tough time. Yeah, fall damage from up. that. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Yeah, this Sorry. game. This game with fall damage is a little unforgiving. Acknowledged, foe hammer. Cortana out. Air Which was my chief complaint, off. so I was glad when they got we rid of it for Halo Two and Three. Oh great! Now we're trapped here. We're screwed. Stow the belly oh. aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leather. I just kind of like that. Cortana, find this. this is hello, my name. Can get us into one of those covenant dropships. I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a covenant dropship still docked. Um. Nope, oh, ambush. But um, I was thinking. That. Yeah, this, 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 they removed the fall damage for Halo Two and Three. Which I like just because the fall damage in Halo 1 is pretty unforgiving. It's like, you're a seven foot tall cyber cybernetic super soldier and you can't fall that far. I've fallen that far and not gotten hurt, so... I was kind of confused about it. Um... It was just kind of ridiculous in my mind, so... I was glad we removed it, although some people did not like the removal. I personally didn't mind. And I just... So... Anyway, probably should stop talking because, well, the end of the video is nigh. That's it. The dropship is loose. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Oh, real quick. This cutscene. I, for some reason, the first time I saw it, I did not see the bit with the hunters. I looked, looked away or something and was not paying attention. So I thought it was just kind of this intentional, like, he accidentally crashed. And I thought that was just this funny thing. Turns out he actually is, you know, he's... Hitting the hunters. Hang on. Nice one, sir. Time for a little payback. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Once again, I'm Nemesis, and I'll see you next time.